So I went to watch some YouTube videos the other day, and right on the front page of uh, the home of YouTube, at the top, there's this ad. It said, Evolve the Definition, next to Masculine. I was like, what the hell is this? And by somebody named Bonobos or something. So I clicked on Bonobos' channel to see what it was. Um, and there's all these videos of these guys, like, like, complaining about masculinity and saying oh they're pressured by definitions and all this crap and trying to change the definition and I, I so I went to the actual evolve the definition video let's take a look evolve the definition 17,000 dislikes 9.1 thousand likes so far and they haven't disabled comments yet so that's a good sign I looked at some of their other videos and they did disable comments so let's take a look we got a female hand, female shoving this in his face, saying this is what you need to read. Oh, another female. Yeah, this is you, buddy. This is this is your toxic masculinity. Masculine. Adjective. Having qualities or appearance traditionally associated with men. Especially strength and aggressiveness. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like just shocked. Aggressiveness. Oh my god, I'm so triggered. Some of the synonyms are macho. Hey, look at this guy. He's got an eye patch. You're not much more masculine than that. Jesus. Manly, muscular. Muscular. <laughs> like, he, like he ever fucking lifted a finger in his life. Well built. Red blooded. Yeah, we're red blooded. We have red blood in our bodies. Red blooded. My goodness. My Strapping. goodness. Look, look, look at that guy. He's got a. Looks like a mountie or something. He's got a pipe. Nice groomed beard, hat. He he looks fairly masculine. He probably goes outdoors and does shit outside. Probably cuts wood. Strapping, strong, brawny, powerful. He looks powerful. He looks like he's athletic and he's got a you know masculine figure. None of these really sound like me. None of those. None of those sound like you. You're not strong. You're not manly. You. Uh, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> I think that definition. Hey, it's uh, Leon from The Professional. Is a little scary. It's scary. A definition is scary. Too small for something so big. It's too small. That's the whole point of definitions. You take the smallest, most specific information and you isolate it so people know what the fuck stuff means. It's all about trying to get people to conform. Conform, yeah. Like you're telling people, hey, let's get rid of definitions and conform to just nonsense. And be a certain way. I think that's what gets us in trouble. No, what gets you in trouble is wearing this stupid fucking jacket that looks like it's made out of a water slide. When we say that there's only one way to be a man. So many individuals, they try and fit, and it just gets to a point where it's too much. It's too much being individuals and having certain degrees of masculinity is too much where they are doing harm to each other yeah yeah you're doing harm because you're confusing people you're telling people they can't be a certain way oh but you have to be our way you can't be a man that's masculine you have to be a man that's that's not as masculine and you need to be softer and you need to be this you need to be that and then people are fucking confused and depressed and they make fun of each other and they treat each other like shit just leave people alone. Leave the non-masculine people alone and leave the masculine people alone. Let us be who we are. And harm to themselves. You don't have to do that. Look at this guy. He's got a flamingo right here on this shirt, and then he's got more flamingos on this shirt. He loves flamingos, I guess. You define your own masculinity. No, you don't. I don't get to call myself a frog when I'm a duck. You define who you are. For me. Well, yeah, you can define who you are. You can be a, an individual. If you don't want to be masculine, that's fine. Then then own up to it and accept it. And don't try to change other definitions because they don't fit the way you feel. Your your feelings don't change definitions. He being masculine is being honest. Yeah. That's, yeah, he, the most masculine looking guy here so far has the most masculine answer. Yeah, being honest is a masculine trait. You own up to your shit, you accept responsibility, you take care of shit, you fix shit when you fuck up. Yeah, being honest is a good masculine trait. Honest. This is the body that I have. This is what I know. So, to me, this is what a man is. Yeah, you, okay, you're a man. Yeah. A man has masculinity kind of 
pre-built in there to some degree, and then there's other traits that follow after that. For me, being masculine means being brave enough to be who I am. Okay, you can be who you are, but if those things that you are aren't following the definition of masculine, then no, you're technically not all that masculine. You're, you're other things, and accept those things, and be brave, and accept those other traits that you are projecting or, or practicing or whatever. Being able to smile, being able to cry, being, being able, to, able smile. to love. Being able to smile, being able to cry, being able to love. And be loved. And be loved. So if I'm masculine, I can't cry, I can't smile, I can't love, and I can't be loved. What a bunch of horse shit. So if I'm masculine, I can't smile and, and, and cry because I, uh, um, I'm proud, I'm a, I'm a proud new father. Or, I'm, you know, my, my son or daughter or whatever is graduating. I can't cry and be happy at their graduation. Or maybe my, my a family member died and I can't cry because I'm sad about something. Whatever. What a bunch of horse shit. That's the man I want to be. That's the man you want to be. What does it mean to me to be masculine? Um, it's more a question of what does it mean to be human? And that's what these guys always do. They take something that's basic, a definition, and they just spread it out so thin that it, it, it's, it's a, it just doesn't have any meaning anymore. That's, Jesus Christ. Bonobos, like the fucking monkeys, or apes, whatever they are. If you search for masculine, it's defined by having qualities traditionally associated with men, especially strength and aggressiveness. Especially strength and aggressiveness. What's wrong with strength? There's nothing wrong with strength. Aggressiveness is good. If I'm aggressive at getting something done and I, I'm motivated, that's good. You know, there's good and bad to everything. The synonyms paint a picture of a man that's not blah, 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 blah. This limited definition does not cover every man out there. No. It's, it's the reverse of this. Every man doesn't fit the definition, but it doesn't mean that your horseshit has to fit every man. Add your voice at evolve the definition, blah, 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 here. Masculine. Having qualities or appearance traditionally associated with men, especially strength and aggressiveness. Macho, strapping, well-built, rugged, vigorous, powerful. It's time to evolve the definition. No, it's not. It's time to get rid of your shitty ad campaign. That's what it is. Watch the film. I already watched your fucking film. I've seen a better film on someone's teeth. What are they doing here? They just got a bunch of people that they interviewed for this video. None of them look very happy. They're kind of like... Blah. They don't look very confident either. Kind of looking off to the side. A nervous, nervous little smile. Uh, he looks nervous as fuck. Like, I have to talk about masculinity. Something I have no idea what that is. Honest, confidence. Those are both masculine traits. Those are good. Courageous. That's masculine. Empathetic. Yeah, you can be empathetic and be masculine. Jesus, this is horseshit. So apparently it looks like Bonobos is some kind of a clothing company. <sighs> Definitely clothes I would never buy. And here's their stupid Evolve the Definition video again. Here's the thing about definitions. Yeah, they can change. You know, they, you can have definitions that change over time, and they certainly do, but they got to change naturally, you know. Um, you don't force somebody to change a definition just because your, you know, your feelings don't agree with the definition. You know, gay, gay yeah, uh, gay used to mean just somebody that was happy and... Um, you know, whatever, but now it means, you know, somebody's sexual preference. Um, yeah, 
see what they see what they have to say here. Probably nothing. I spoke to 172 individuals about the antiquated definition of masculine. Yeah, it's antiquated. Hey, Dom. What do you have to say? Thanks, man. <laughs> All right, cool. Whatever, dude. So I got to be honest with you guys. I wanted to look for some stupid pictures of bonobos just so I can throw it randomly in this video. So I went to images, and I'm just poking around here, and I saw this one here. I thought it looked kind of funny, and I click on it, and look at this. Nine reasons bonobos are our new feminist role models. What the hell? <laughs> uh, okay. Anna Walters, two years ago. Females dominate their society. Yeah, feminists would love that, wouldn't they? They'd love to dominate everything. They're the only ape that doesn't kill. What? Feminists kill? There's tons of stories of crazy feminist women killing their ex-husband or boyfriend or something like that. Uh, they have sex for pleasure without guilt or shame. Yeah, you would love to just be fucking whores, wouldn't you? They appreciate the natural female form. Yeah, more body positivity bullshit. Everybody knows when they're turned on and when they're not. Ugh. Nobody's turned on by a feminist. They pay more attention to bonding opportunities than to threats. No, all f feminists do nothing but pay attention to threats. That's all they care about. Everything's a threat to a feminist. Everything triggers them. Whatever. They're empathetic and affectionate. No, they're not. The feminists are cold-hearted cunts. They're welcoming to outsiders. No way. <laughs> not at all. Uh... They are pretty darn cute. No, I've never seen a cute feminist in my life. So uh, that's pretty funny. And that's not it. Check this out. I'm poking around. I thought this one was kind of funny looking down here. Monkey's making a funny face, got something in its mouth. Being gay is natural. Just ask bonobos. What? Is this some sort of Illuminati shit going on here? The bonobos clothing company, anti masculine, you know, anti male. And you know, some I'm sure some of those guys in that video were gay. And then you got this gay monkeys or gay apes, whatever. Being uh, you know, and they're bon they're also bonobos. And then that company is bonobos. Wow. Hey, look at this guy. <laughs> All right. Here's the thing about masculinity. This whole toxic masculinity bullshit just needs to stop. Masculinity is what drives this whole entire world. It's this, it's the fuel that says that we need to get shit done, and we need to take care of this, take care of that, regardless of how we feel about it. We get it done. Um, take a look at this highway right here. This is the Highway 101 on the Oregon Pacific Coast. This highway wasn't always like this. In fact, it didn't exist at one point in time. And if you look right here, there's a little valley right here. I actually know this exact same spot. I've, I've been here many times and my grandpa has told me many stories about this area. Um, there's a valley right here. <clears throat> my grandpa, about the age of 12, was given by my great grandfather, his father, two bullets and a hunting rifle. Again, this is age 12 and he was told to go out, get dinner, and don't come home until you, you have something. Because he grew up at a time where it was cheaper to have ammunition than it was to have food. And you would provide food on your own, living off the land, basically. So 12 years old, uh, you know, a 12-year-old boy is a 12-year-old boy. That doesn't seem very masculine, but no, that's very masculine. Anybody can, can have some masculine traits to some extent. And they did. They just did what they had to do. My grandpa and my great-grandpa worked on a crew that built this highway from nothing. And they worked at a time 
where there were no fancy machinery, no uh, high efficiency chainsaws, nothing like that. They did a lot of manual labor by hand. Um, horses were pulling carts with lumber and logs, um, digging with shovels. They, you know, they punched a fucking hole through this mountain right here. This is what it first looked like. Then this, and then this. So people could enjoy traveling throughout our country. And they did this at a time where, you know, you, you had to do it. You just, it didn't matter. You had to get it done. And they weren't making a lot of money. The work was hard. And they didn't, you know, it, it didn't matter. You just did it. That's what masculinity is. It was one of the aspects of masculinity. It, it's hard work. It's just, it's a, a, a sense of duty. Getting things done. Stepping up to the challenge. And just doing what you need to do. And for these feminists, these anti-masculine people to push this propaganda, it just spits in the face of, of my grandfather and my great-grandfather and everybody else who's ever lifted a masculine finger and done something that needed to be done. It's, it's a huge insult to America and, and other people around the world. Well, that's all I got to say about this. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. See you in the next video. And remember, hard times create strong men. Strong men create good times. Good times create weak men. Weak men create hard times. I think we know where we're headed.